what's going on, Aries. Let's tap in. Happy Scorpio season. Drop your flag. Let me know what you are sipping on this Monday morning. Coffee, orange juice, a drink. Drop your flag. Let me know where you are watching from. Drop those Scorpio season blessings down in the comment section. If you're new, where have you been? Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. You know what it is. It's Monday morning. Scorpio season Aries. Ooh, the seven of pentacles. Taking a look at your long-term goals. The straw that broke the camel's back here. Forcing you to take a look at those goals. Another 10. Transitioning, wrapping up some loose ends here. The magician, Aries, Gemini energy. You having all the tools to be successful here in a situation. Aries, okay. Okay. Getting yourself into alignment here after something pissed you off with this ten of sticks. Your energy. Give us one more, Aries. I'm not supposed to be reading five cards today, but, let's, but since we're here... And walking away from something. Eight of baskets. Bringing balance back to your situation. Emotional balance. Bottom of the deck. Son of coins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Blessings coming in. This could be new lovers that are serious about their commitments. A new lover, not an ex. This could be new business opportunities coming in. A new job offer. A new. This could be a new company. This could be you starting a new business. Aries. Ten of baskets. Happiness. The Disney fairy tale ending here. So we know it's going to end well, but let's get into the seven of coins. This popping up, the eight of wands. It may be time for you to move on. For some of you in work, you're counting your coins and real life counting your coins versus the work that you're putting in here with this eight of sticks. And there's a lack. It's not evening out here. And with the seven being a number of alignment here, we have the Aunt Caroline, excuse me, the Aunt Caroline here coming in to put you into alignment, the universe stepping in and telling you that you have all the tools that you need to be successful, Aries. So why are you upside down in the situation? How dare your pentacles be upside down? That coming from a Capricorn person, it's time for you to fix it. And with this eight of six, this could be you physically moving, traveling for work, looking outside of your current city for work, maybe having to do some, um, why am I forgetting that word? Um, what is that? The word... What's the word it is when you, um, what is the word for when you live in one place and you travel to another for work? Commute. Maybe there's a commute between where it is that you're working out. More of your fire energy with the father of sticks. This is you being nervous about taking these opportunities. Maybe you're worried about what it's going to cost you to travel to take this new opportunity. Or maybe this new opportunity is just outside of your comfort zone. So you're nervous about saying yes. Big Sagittarius energy here with the Father Sims. This is you weighing out the pros and the cons here. Not just quickly jumping on this, but making sure that everything adds up with the Seven of Coins. Learning the lesson from the past on being burned. Bringing balance. Balance here with the Eight of Baskets. Emotional balance. Balance here as far as actions, not rushing, into, not rushing to action. Not rushing to do things. Not rushing to make certain commitments here. Let's get into this Ten of Sticks. This straw that broke the camel's back here. That puts you at a crossroads. Pisces energy here with the moon in reverse. This ten of sticks being clarified by the two of wands and the pa, the moon in reverse. It almost makes me feel like some of you, you are presented with an offer that was almost like a slap in the face. Like it was almost moving backwards for you. For some of you in the workplace. For others of you, this may be um, a love situation where somebody came back and wanted you to accept something far less than what it is that you deserve. Maybe they asked you to just be a night thing here with this moon in reverse. Maybe they asked you to just be a side piece for somebody new. Mm. Four of coins here. Setting a solid foundation. But this is somebody that you have history with that maybe is half in, half out that's coming back. And this puts you at a, tr a crossroads about where it is, where is it that I'm at right now? Where is it that I'm going? Again, we started with the seven of coins. So whether this is work or love family related, you're really taking a look at where it is that you are going. For a lot of you Aries folks, you're not feeling very happy right now, not feeling very fulfilled, thinking that it's, it's really work and it's really not. It may be all areas. And with this Aunt Caroline in reverse, 
this may be something that you need to really do a lot of reflecting and look inwards on to find this happiness, that 10 of cups that we saw, the six of knives in the reverse. This is somebody moving on to calmer waters here, traveling, not saying anything. That could even be leaving, some, leaving someone or somewhere without giving some type of closure here, without communicating. For some of you, Aries folks, you're dealing with somebody who just up and left, ghosted, moved on to calmer waters, maybe when things got hot between you, the two of you. But for some of you, this is you guys avoiding something. Maybe running from something. Maybe you're running from a certain family situation, personal situation, work situation. And so you're just trying to pick up and move on. But this, the sun, big Leo energy here, right next to the moon, happiness, triumph, the grass being greener here on the other side, fertility, a brand new beginning, it's beginning, beginning. <laughs> this is you getting the win. This is comfort food. This may be you, for some of you, this is you giving up because it's comfortable. But for those of you that stick this out and skip this six of knives moment and just go through what seems like bad times or having this period of bad luck, this is you getting the win. Six of baskets here, the proposal card. This is job opportunities coming your way. This could be a brand new start between you and your partner. For some of you the folks that are struggling with being single during the holidays, during sweetest day, as we move forward into the holidays, be patient. Somebody's coming your way. And not only be patient with this father sims, all this being in alignment, somebody's getting ready to come forward and present you with what it is that you're looking for. With the sun energy here, this 19 and this Aunt Caroline here, alignment. Some of you are running away from things, but you just need to face it. Because when you face it and you conquer this thing, whatever it is that facing your fears here with this moon sun energy, here comes this blessing. Again, we started with you having all the tools and necessary, the universe with this Aunt Caroline, the Black Herman, showing you, letting you know all these tens in a brand new beginning, bringing balance back to a situation. That you have all the tools necessary, Aries, to be successful in all situations presented in front of you. The nine of sticks, your energy. This is you being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Six being a number of a choice. Nine being a number of getting ready to wrap things up. You could be dealing with a cancer person. We're in a water sign season of Scorpio. This is a transition. The garden, the moon, the sun, the garden, traveling, transition, tying up these loose ends and the pause for the cause before the start of a brand new journey. Stick it out, Aries. This hard time that you're going through that Mercury retrograde was crazy. Libra season was crazy. Stick it out. You're going back and forth about this thing. Do you want to invest in this? Do you, don't you? Could be a person, could be family, could be a work thing. And with this judgment, you're about to find out. You're about to make a major judgment call here. Things are going to be revealed to you. Things are currently being revealed to you. With this moon, sun, magician energy, the garden, the world. Things are being revealed to you and you know you're juggling a lot. And with this nine of baskets... You may be dealing with somebody who's very selfish here, or it could be that you're the total package, Aries, and all these people are coming out of the woodwork for you. It could be that you were torturing yourself, being single, being all in your head about all these things that you weren't or were, that you weren't going to find, and your person was waiting for you to your person was waiting for you to just make yourself available here, for you to present yourself for them to have the opportunity to present themselves for you. And this may be this eight of cups, this eight of baskets, this eight of cups energy. Could be you finally leaving the house, finally leaving these fears behind, whatever this is in your head. This is like a stuck in somebody's head thing. Somebody just being afraid to take some type of risk here with the son of coins, trying to take a calculated risk, a safe risk here. You know, this father sticks in the reverse, your energy Aries. But sometimes you just have to take a, a risk risk to get what you want. And with this eight of baskets, what's this walking away? Leo energy here. This... This is you walking away from your fears and getting the win, Aries. This is exactly what I said. Your energy here, Taurus, Aries energy with the Hierophant. Making major decisions, balanced decisions, eight of cups, staying emotionally in control, five of sticks, avoiding this chaos, confusion, and conflict. You don't have any time for these people talking shit in the background, Aries. You're totally ignoring them. Two fives right here. With the five of sticks and the hair font. The seven of knives, the naysayers, the backstabbers, ignoring them. 
This is sneaky behavior. This is ghosting. Again, people moving on to calmer waters. This is people going to where it makes them feel most comfortable. People, Some people are trying to ride your coattails or when it wasn't popular, they left you high and dry. This is you leaving that behind. This is you, this, you're the son of coins, whether you are male or female. This is you starting brand new. This is you transitioning during the Scorpio season into a butterfly. This cocoon phase, and by the time we get into Sagittarius season, you're going to be leveled up and moved on up. Aries, drop your sun moon rising. Drop the sun moon rising of the people that you're dealing with. Drop your flag. Let me know where you are from. Let me know how this resonated for you down in the comment section. And fire sign family, I'll be checking in with you soon. Keep it real.